testing $1,000, testing $2,000. I'm really excited about this new September budget. Um, I made the corrections. You can go to my uh, budget worksheet update for September. But this is sort of like a new roadmap that I'm going on. A new journey. Um, so we have rent, utilities. I'm expecting an increase for the utilities. Now, charity is still small. I added an extra dollar. Groceries, I added $25. Family night out, I added $45. But that is... The next one won't be until November 30th. I'm trying to stretch these out where it would take up as many birthdays as possible and then I can save as much as possible. And then speaking of a birthday, I did send a gift card, but I can't, I don't think it's arrived yet. So I don't know. Now, um... The problem is sticking to the budget. It's not perfect, and I don't think you're going to get a perfect budget. So now with the groceries, I'm going by percentages. The meat, veggies, fruit, condiments, dairy, and nuts, seeds, and snacks. So that's going to be $30 for meat, $18 for fruits and vegetables, $10 for condiments, $10 for dairy, and $11 for nuts, seeds, and snacks. Then fifteen for household, and then six for money orders and stamps. That'd be a hundred dollars. And then with the tenant, I can use that for sinking funds. So that's exciting. So I'm looking forward to the fourth quarter budget where I can do some Christmas shopping. I really want a stand-up freezer. I really do. So we'll see. I wanted to start shopping in October for Christmas. I'm not sure. I've got my Dollar Tree envelope. Um, $40 for um, Mother's Day, $40 for uh, birthday, and $40 for Christmas. So I can use that for Christmas also. And... Uh, so this budget is more exciting than, the, than my other budget. Before I updated the September budget, I had lost my spreadsheet. So I made a new one. Then I found the old ones, but I'm going to stick with this one. So um, in my last update, I said savings was 202, but it's really 228 for this month. So that's about it for my little roadmap. map. I just thought I'd just explain the uh, budget worksheet a little bit. Um, hopefully I won't delete this sheet. And uh, so there might be a few little changes toward October, but it's basically, this is the basic new outline or the new budget format I'm using. So the new September 2018 budget. I think I got all the uh, wrinkles out. And I've figured out the 1s, 5s, 10s, 20s like that from the Money Counter app. I'm excited about the Dollar Tree. I can use that for Christmas. Christmas shopping will be right around the corner right after Labor Day. And uh, I might be able to get that upright freezer. I don't know. It would be nice. I mean, the stand-up freezer. Upright stand-up. So this is my roadmap for September to go into my budget worksheet explanation a little bit further. So it's really exciting. I can do this for September, do this practically the same budget for the fourth quarter. So I'm really excited. God bless you. Run and get your bills paid. Save, save, save and invest. Bye. And have a happy holiday. Bye.